Good morning, and it's time for another excursion. Excursion, which is really cool. We're actually going to one of the new seven wonders of the world, right? Right. Yeah, seven. I got it right that time. <laughs> it's called the. It's uh, Chichen Itza. It's uh, Mayan pyramids, or a Mayan pyramid. It sounds something like your dog will get. Well, what's wrong with your dog? Got a Chichen Itza. He's right here in the crotch. Got to get you scratched out. So it's going to be a long day. What? You'll just follow along. It's going to be a long day. Yes, as you can tell, I'm not used to getting up quite this early in the morning. So. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. All right, we're here now. We have no idea what the hell is going on. All I know is I got two freaking tickets. Do we go for to what? I have no idea. We paid five dollars to get a camera permit to use our camera permit. Nobody knows where that's at. Not a very organized tour at all. It's been not good at all. You ever hear that expression called a monkey in a football? That's it. That's this excursion is a monkey in a football. Thank you. 
Well, apparently there's a government tax you have to pay five dollars to use a cell phone or anything like this, which me and Christine paid our tax and we didn't get our permit. Handed out to everybody else but us. I think there's like four other people that didn't get their permits in out there. You paid for them, so be careful that if you pay for a permit, you probably won't get it.
it's cool. There's a lot to see, way more than you can see in the hour that we had. But there are probably 10,000 people here. Very crowded. Señor, señor, car avec les soldats. We lay to Reynos, Bevers on Tantra. Pour plaisir, pour plaisir, is all they come back. Le cirque est plein ce jour de fête. Le cirque est plein d'automates. Le spectateur est dans la tête. The Chichen Itza Mayan Ruins excursion was, um, it, it was different. It was something I have always wanted to do. I have always wanted to see the Mayan ruins. And so for me, the excitement level was somewhere up here around 10 or 11. I, I was excited to do it. I knew that it involved a bus ride, but, um, it's something I had always wanted to do. And, and in all honesty, the Mayan ruins were amazing. There's probably a thousand acres of ruins there. And, and it's, it's quite amazing to be able to walk around and see things that were built 1500 years ago. One note, they do have cordons around all of the, the buildings. So you can't actually touch them or climb the pyramid, but still in all, it's, it's a wonderful place to visit. However, this particular excursion, involved out of a nine hour day only an hour was actually touring the ruins the rest of the time was spent either in lines of one kind or another or on a bus or on a ferry so it was an incredibly long day and not nearly enough time to do much more than just race from one of the primary buildings to the other so it lost it lost value very quickly and then you add to that the fact that the bus had a broken toilet and so it smelled like a sewer for two and a half hours there and two and a half hours back and then you add to that the fact that the box lunch was a bun with one slice of mystery meat and a bag of chips and a cookie and you had to pay for your drinks and it unless this is something that you've dreamed about doing your whole life and you're pretty convinced that you will never again have the opportunity to actually visit the Mayan ruins so it would be worth it for you. $110 for me is an awful lot of money to spend on a bus. So I I would say somewhere down in this corner it just it, it just is not a good value. Mm -hmm. 